Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to CC, the test server for EVE Online, where in today's video I want to take a look at the Muniplasmids, the new items that are coming with Into the Abyss that uh, can basically potentially upgrade your existing modules to even better ones. And uh, that's a big facet of the game, so I thought I'd take a look at that, but... Um, Next to these muted plasmids, which I think will be of high value and, and will uh, create some, some really god tier items that, uh, that will be worth a lot of isk. Uh, it should also be noted that uh, we are now getting different uh, loot from the abyssal dungeons as well, such as this here, the crystalline isogen 10 uh, item. And what's important to note here is that this will be used in the construction of the triglavian ships, weapons, munitions, and weapon upgrades so i'd say that uh, that is important information when uh, all of this was first deployed on deployed on cc for instance uh, in order to uh, produce a demovic all you needed was minerals but you can see here that they are adding specific items that will only be found in uh, the abyssal dungeons and as a result um, yeah, you'll need to uh, keep working on the Abyss if you want to make your own Triglavian ships and modules. So it is really going to be a bit of a side economy next to Tech 1, Tech 2 and Tech 3 that already exist in the game. And uh, it's not only about blueprints, but there's going to be raw materials there as well. Now let's move on to the Mutoplasmids. What I find interesting here is that I've got a series of unstable ones, but I also have this one here a decayed large armor repairer muta plasmid so there also seem to be tiers of uh, these uh, muta plasmids with potentially probably better rewards than others and it is very possible that in tier one to tier three you'll have a much higher chance for the uh, less good muta plasmids and I, I assume that the case the decayed ones will be that and that the unstable ones or maybe an even better tier will come mostly from uh, tier 4 and tier 5 sites which are far more risky and difficult to run but let's take one of these and let's take a look at how this actually works so uh, let's take here an unstable 100 mn afterburner uh, mutaplasmid in show info you can find the entire list of all the items that this can be used with and uh, we'll just do the classical one i think that i will f um, at first do some with uh, take two uh, items just to try and upgrade for instance my abyssal uh, cruisers that i that i like to use um, after that what you have to do is you can just right click use the unstable 1mn -MM afterburner mutaplasmid and then a window opens up that's a bit reminiscent of the industry window um, although here we have the wheel of oranges as you could say you just have to add the item in here and then you have the potential worst case and best case for the four stats that can be influenced by the mutaplasmid um, one thing that i find a little bit unfortunate is that the uh, the zero effect is not added here so that you immediately have a bit of an idea of okay uh, this is considered a very good stat and the potential increase is limited or this is really the stat that that uh, potentially can go up by quite a few percentage points so we would have to do a show info which i can't do from here but you can do that from here to take a look at the potential benefits and drawbacks so for instance we've got activation costs normal uh, cost is 350 gigajoules from the capacitor can go uh, up to 490 which is bad of course and down to 210 which does make for uh, a very big difference to 350 compare that to for instance cpu use usage uh, for uh, the fittings can go up to 75 cpu and down to 40 so that's probably that's still a pretty large percentage 10 on 50 uh, that is still quite significant and I personally do feel that um, uh, these stats, the fitting stats, are a bit uh, iffy and need, need to be looked at quite closely. I should also mention at this point that all of this is still on CC, still subject to change and that CCP I think will actively look at um, some of the very best modules combined with some of the really good ships to see if uh, there are no real balance problems and then they might just swoop in and for instance make the potential CPU uh, 
uh, usage uh, only go to 45 or something like that if you would have some some crazy uh, cruisers with 100 mm afterburners and other stuff uh, that would basically make them uh, overpowered in the game so all of this subject to change subject to balance change as well i think that the general idea of the muted plasmid so you activate them put in a module mutate them uh, to potentially get a better item that's not gonna change but these specific stats i think that all of that is definitely uh subject to change and and will be looked at quite closely um so we know that we can get a worse one or a better one all you have to do is of course press mutate and we get a bit of a drawback on activation cost and CPU, but a pretty big, a 20% almost velocity bonus. And then uh, it does cost more fitting both in CPU and power grid. So this is not really a very good one. If I press continue and then I can close the window, I see here that I now have a 100 MN Abyssal Afterburner. And what I personally like and hope will also work in the contract is that just by hovering over the item, I don't have to press show in for anything like that. I can immediately see the effect that the uh, mutaplasmid has had on the base module. So that is definitely quite nice. If this works in the contract as well, then you do have uh, an easy way to sort out really good modules from the very bad modules. And it's going to make it a lot harder to actually scam with this now another uh, important thing to note is that you can press show info on this one and uh, then all the bad attributes are shown in red as well so again another place where you can see that okay i got lucky on velocity but all the other ones have been made worse than the regular tech 2 and very importantly we can also see what has been upgraded a tech 2 afterburner in this case another quick tip that i can give you um, if you hover over tech 2 nothing happens but if you you can go a little bit down in the corner it's unfortunate that it's this small but from this window you can just shift and then right click show info and there you go you've got the other window open as well uh, if you actually want to get a very detailed comparison between the abyssal uh, afterburner and the uh, 100 mm afterburner that was used in order to create it so not on tech 2 you can't really right click anything there but a little bit on in the right lower corner you can press right click show info and then get the other window open if you keep shift uh, pressed uh, while you're doing that so that's very important but i think that that can be a, a useful tip uh, when you want to actually have both of those open so really let's take a look at some of the other ones i am for instance quite curious as to what we can do with an unstable scramble muta plasmid so uh, again we're first going to um grab do we grab a tick i don't think that anything like this will be available on the market. So we'll just take a tech two uh, afterburner and we'll use it on that. And here I am a little bit curious myself as to the potential scrambler that you can get here. So we'll use this, we'll put this in here and it's activation cost CPU and optimal range can go up to 10.8 kilometers from eight kilometers, which is the normal one, I think. Quickly press show info. BM PVP modules doesn't always work too well from nine kilometers to 10.8. So that's definitely one of the uh, toned down potential upgrades, I think here, because that is not the 20% I think we saw in the afterburner on maximum velocity. So let's press mutate, bad luck, good luck on the CPU usage and bad luck on the optimal range. So this is basically a trash module. I wasted that tick two module in order to create this. Now you can get some really good ones as well. For instance, here, let me press show, uh, no, actually take a look at my fitting. And uh, this is one that I actually created uh, just to do a little bit of testing, but let's, oh, uh, you don't have the, that's unfortunate. So I do wish that you could see uh, here as well by hovering above this uh, medium abyssal armor repair, what the stats change, uh, stat changes have been from the mutaplasmid. So I have to put them here and then you can see I've got a decreased activation costs um, like almost 50% less capacitor usage. Uh, it's also now cycling uh, one second 
more quickly than before so the hp per second is up quite a lot and it repairs 57 more hp per cycle it does cost more cpu to fit but less power grid as well so you've got five potential stats on the armor repair and this is one of those that um, i would definitely love to have this kind of a role on a faction item that i get from uh, exploration myself put that on your uh, abyssal ship and you've got a nice upgrade make a couple more of those and then you've got extras in order to try and run tier fours and tier fives that would be my personal uh, idea so now we'll just try to do maybe the web ones could be interesting let's see what that's used with so again you've got a nice list if we press view mark details buy two of these let's take another look at what orange jesus who is now making his entrance in eve online is going to give us here so the web one optimal range can go up to 12 kilometers well with a bonus chip you can get some pretty nice uh, stuff you just press mutate and right away you see worse all right Maximum velocity bonus uh, is also up, but the range is back down. So definitely not one that that is going to command a lot of um, uh, a lot of. Uh, oh, and that's interesting. It's going to command a lot of isk, but uh, right away it's grabbing the next webifier as well from the um, from my inventory. Interesting. So I don't have to manually drop another one. I can keep mutating as long as the combination is possible. Okay, maybe be a little bit careful about that if you've bought 100 items and you've got lots of mutaplasmids that you don't just spam that too much. Activate. All right, now range has to go up. Nope. So this can happen as well. Worse in every single way. Uh, that's kind of bad, of course. That is a complete trash item. And uh, does it look like Orange Jesus is with me? Can I make anything else that would be interesting? Uh, maybe the, I still have another medium shield booster, for instance. Can be used in Tech 2. So this would be my plan. Um, personally, on TQ, I am going to use this. I'm going to hunt for this. And all I have to do is do show info. Oh, no, not show info, but actually use the Mura Plasmid. Put this in here. So we were lucky, unlucky before. Four bad ones. And here again, three bad ones. But the shield HP bonus plus 15 HP. That's more than 10% increase. That is not bad, of course. And it's also a little bit faster. But it does cost a lot more to fit. So... Yeah, does look like you'll need to be very lucky uh, in order to combine like an officer mod with a god tier all green uh, role. I think you'll have to be extremely lucky for that. And that does mean that some items I think will become super, super rare and super expensive. There's no doubt about it that there's crazy people out there that are going to keep doing that though. But uh, there you go, guys. That is a look at the mutaplasmids, how they work, and a couple of tips, especially with the shift right click show info on the item. You get both windows open. And uh, yeah, I actually hope that they can implement this window um, in the contracts as well. I think that that would uh, make life a hell of a lot easier than if it's not. Maybe I should quickly look at that actually to check if there's any contracts. Um, available contracts and I will look for if we get rid of this for instance all right abyssal then uh, search yep all right and that does not work ouch right now here no way of, of telling uh, if this is a good or a bad one maybe we could do view contracts over no so that is ccp if you want one tip uh, at this point it's probably gonna be a little bit late but i will also post that in forms as soon as possible the way it works here in my inventory make that work in the contracts as well and uh, you're getting rid of a lot of headache here so now i can also i can press show info see that it's worth in worse in two stats better in the activation cost and far worse in the um in the fitting as well so this is a pretty bad one and it's actually made from an officer one as well so if you do show info uh that's a pretty bad role and a pretty expensive one uh, but yes 
When it comes to the contract, it really looks like we'll have to do our homework here. Open the contract, press show info on the item, take a look at all of the stats individually and uh, then decide whether or not it's a good roll or not. It would be great if you could just from this window hover over this and see the same thing that you're seeing here. Uh, definitely a suggestion that I'm going to make. Hopefully CCP can actually enable that at some point. For now, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time.